Hi, thanks for tuning into the video. Before we get started, I wanted to invite you over to my personal website at toddbrandon.com. There you can find out more about me and you can even contact me through the website. And now on to the video. Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon, and in the last video we talked about a vendor database with uh, forms that would allow you to select a vendor and then uh, would open up a new form that would show all the contacts within a given vendor. Um, so if you want to go back and watch that intro video, if you didn't see it, uh, be sure and do that and you'll see kind of the final product we're headed towards. Uh, in this video, we're going to get started. I've already got a couple of tables here, uh, the vendor table and vendor contact table. So I'm going to click on the vendor table. I'll right click and show the design view just to show you. I'm not going to build these out. Uh, I'll let you figure that out. If you want to follow along, you can build out your own version of this. <clears throat> but the field names uh, for the vendor table are going to be vendor ID. That is a, a primary key uh, field, and it's an auto number. The vendor name, vendor state, and vendor website are all short text fields, and then we have a date added field that's date time. So close that. I go over here to the vendor contact table, show the design view. This table has a contact ID. It's also auto number, and it is primary key. Uh, then we have a contact first name, last name, uh, phone, email, and title. All those are short text data types. And then we actually have a vendor ID field as well. That's a number data type. And these would be the vendor ID that a particular contact belongs to. So if I right click and go to data sheet view, you can see what I mean. Uh, we've got all of our fields here with the necessary data. We've got about six contacts here. And each one is assigned a vendor ID depending on what vendor they work for or what vendor they represent. And this is going to be what we're going to use to tie that back or join to our vendor table. One more thing, if we want to look at our vendors, we can open that. And we got about five vendors here, uh, each with their vendor name, state, website, and date they were added, along with their vendor ID, which is an auto number, auto generated uh, ID. So let's close that. Let's build the query that's going to pull all the contacts for a given vendor. So we'll do that by going to the Create tab. We'll go to Query Design. And we're going to use both of our tables. So I'm going to hold the Shift key down, select both uh, by clicking on Vendor Contact, and click Add. I'm going to close this. And so let me uh, expand these out so we can see all of our fields. And so we'll have our Vendor table on the left, our Vendor Contact table on the right. First thing I want to do is I want to click on vendor, vendor ID in the vendor table. I'm going to uh, left click, hold my left uh, click uh, button down on my mouse, and I'm going to drag over here to the vendor contact table onto vendor ID. Now I want to click on the join itself until it shows up in bold, and once it does, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to click on join properties. It's going to bring up the join properties wizard here and it by default has this first one selected. This is just an inner join. What we want to do is select number three, which is a right join, which means it's going to include all records from the contact table and only those records from the vendor table when the join fields are equal. And those fields are vendor ID, which what that really means is it's gonna bring back every contact that has a vendor ID equal to the vendor ID in the vendor table. Now, I'm gonna click OK, and I'll get to that, and I'll kinda of demonstrate what happens or how that happens here in just a second. Now I wanna bring in my uh, all the fields that I wanna return down here, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, hi, I'll click on uh, first name, I'm gonna hold shift key down and actually select every field from the contact table except the contact ID. I'll drag and drop those and they'll drop in their own column. And I don't actually want to pull in vendor ID into the results, although I want to use it because I need to, uh, that needs to be my criteria field, but I can uncheck the show box. 
So it doesn't show in the results, but I can still use the criteria box. And so in this case, before we get to the forms, we'll actually um, we'll actually set this criteria to a form field eventually. But right now, I just want to show you what happens when we run this query. I can come up to the query button. I'm going to save it real quick, and I'm going to name it QRY underscore contact by vendor. Click OK, and now it shows up in my navigation pane over here under queries. And you can also val validate this by either right clicking on the tab or going up here to the results section of the design tab. And on this down arrow, let's click on uh, SQL view. And so notice here in our SQL query, we have this right join table vendor contact on table vendor dot vendor ID where it equals table vendor contact dot uh, vendor ID. So we'll go back to design view. And now if we want to check out the results of the query, we can just go down to right click and go down to data sheet. And now we see every contact. Well, so what's the big deal? How is that helpful? It just looks like the contents of the vendor contact table, right? Well, the magic happens when you have a criteria. So let's go back to the design view. And I want this uh, criteria to be, let's say four, vendor ID. Now when I look, uh, when I click on data sheet view, all I get are the contacts for Great Plains Group. Well, Great Plains Group, if you go over here to the vendor table and open that up, that's vendor ID number four. So let's go back to the query. Let's go back to design view. Let's change that to one. We'll right click. Oops, I went to the wrong, I'm on the query. Right click on the query, go down to data sheet view. And now we get two results that are from ABC. Well, if we go back to our vendor table, notice ABC is vendor number one, and that's what we had selected as our criteria in design view. So there you go. This is really kind of the foundation upon which the database or the application is built. And in the next video, we're gonna start building out our form. So see you there.